I'm Dr. Tanishka Kruger, a scientist and the project manager to the University of Pretoria Institute for Sustainable Malaria Control, or UPISMC for short. The UPISMC consists of scientists or researchers from various fields of expertise, grouped together in three research clusters that focus on finding new and innovative ways to fight malaria. My research focus is on malaria education and health promotion, where we find different, innovative and fun ways to tell people about malaria and how to protect themselves from getting the disease. My target audience can vary, which determines how I will tell my story. Young children between the ages of four and six years can be taught about mosquitoes, their life cycle, malaria, malaria transmission, malaria prevention, and this can all be done in fun, creative ways. Mosquitoes are semi-aquatic. Female lays her eggs on or near water, and then the eggs hatch into a larvae, which wriggle around energetically, or they rest at the surface of the water, where they take in oxygen directly from the air through a breathing siphon. Each larvae becomes a pupa, and eventually an adult mosquito will emerge from the floating pupa body and then fly away. This process can take up to two weeks or more, depending on climatic conditions. So how does malaria fit in? Female Anopheles mosquitoes need blood for their eggs to develop. Only female Anopheles mosquitoes can transmit malaria, and they are found in your more humid and warmer climates. The female bites a human that may have malaria parasites in his or her blood. Once the parasites are taken up into the mosquito body, the life cycle continues, and long story short, you find that the female will bite another human at a later stage, thereby transmitting the parasites into that person. We can use our knowledge of the mosquito life cycle to target specific stages of the life cycle in order to control or prevent transmission of malaria. A good example how we can use the life cycle to prevent malaria transmission is by picking up trash that might be lying outside the house and that might be filled up with water which forms a breeding site for the females to lay her eggs. So pick up your trash around the house, don't let trash lie around, mosquitoes can breed if there's a small water source found. Some creative ways that we have used to inform children about malaria includes the following. By dressing up as a mosquito, some of our university drama students did a play in a malaria area to inform young kids about malaria. Researchers at the UPISMC have developed a song in both Chavenda and English that tell young kids how to protect themselves from the disease. The song lyrics and the tune of the song is available on our website. The UPISMC initiative, Cebu Fights Malaria, is an informative book written by Ms. Ginny Stone and published by Let's Look Publishers. Cebu has many adventures in 16 different books. If you want to read more about Cebu's adventures, please go to the website. You can purchase the various books on this website as well.